Oh, big bass, 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 big bass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. All right, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel DMO Fishing. Today we got unboxing. I bought the cheapest spinning reel that I could find on Amazon. Uh, we got it today. So we're gonna be opening and seeing how it works. We're gonna put it to a test. We're gonna spool it with some line. We're gonna pair it with a speed stick and we're gonna take it fishing and see how it does, guys. So let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the spinning reel. This is a 2000 spinning reel. Uh, it's a medium sized spinning reel. I don't know the brand. I just went for the one that it was the cheapest I could find with the better reviews. I actually paid 14 bucks for this uh, and it was, it was on sale actually guys. So $14 for a spinning reel is super cheap guys. Uh, hopefully we will pleasantly surprised with what we find inside. So let's go ahead and open this. So the box really cheap. Uh, no protection at all. For the spinning reel so this thing was bouncing around on the way here uh, we got a little plastic bag i'm gonna pull it out here we go guys now first impressions it looks like everything is metal except this top part right here that's plastic and this maybe this cap right here is plastic and the knob is plastic which i'm okay with everything else the main parts are metal guys uh i like the color and the finish i like the little gold here and the and the silver on the handle and the black finish it's actually pretty nice so uh, we're gonna go ahead and tie this up real quick and see how it feels oh wow hold on here we go so feels actually pretty heavy and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's kind of heavy. Um, it's kind of smooth, guys. I'm actually liking this. I'm actually impressed. I was expecting less for $14, guys. Uh, let's see how the drag sounds. I mean, it's not the best sound I ever heard, but I can live with it. Actually, I'm impressed. Uh, we have to see how we fish, though. So, so far, first impressions, I'm pretty impressed that everything is metal. It's not a whole plastic piece they don't have a lot of plastic in it and it actually feels smooth so we're gonna take a closer look at this then we're gonna spool it and then we're gonna take it fishing Alright guys, so it's all spooled, ready to go. The drag doesn't sound as pleasing as other spinning reels, more expensive spinning reels, but I can live with that. I'm not too picky about it. Some people are really picky about the drag sound, but now it's ready to go. Um, so let's hit the pond and catch some fish. Alright guys, we out here at the local pond. You see how it shines? Look how shiny it looks. Looks better on the sun, huh? Gotta clean that rod, man. But anyways, we're here at the pond already. It's super windy, the water level's super low. I uh, hope you can hear me really good, but I don't see any fish. We're gonna go ahead and start fishing. I got a bunch of different baits today. We're gonna be testing out how the reel actually handled the bait. And hopefully we catch a bunch of fish, but the objective is to see if this reel is gonna be added to our arsenal so today we're gonna start with just a uh, texas rig i got a jump dinger here uh, we're gonna texas rig it and see if we can get a bite using this all right guys see test uh, test our drag all right here we go first cast jesus okay that cast the mile that cast is a mile away. Yeah, I see a bass right there. Yeah, that's a bass right there. Let's see if we can catch him. Is he on, he's on bed. 
I might be on the bed. All right. Oh, he got spooked. Damn it, okay. I don't think he was on the bed. Yo, this thing cast a mile, man. It cast really good. I haven't got a bike last year, but. Cast it really good. Watch this cast. See, even with all the wind, still all right, so. So far, I haven't found nothing wrong. The one thing I want to say is the freaking letter, like the stamp, the brand name over here, it looks so badly finished, so cheap. Uh, look at the brand name. See the brand name? It has like gold letters. I mean, that one's okay, but look at this one. Looks cheap. So, I might actually remove that with some acetate. <laughs> oh, big bass, 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 big bass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I see you. You're sitting on that rock right there. Yo, I just saw a nice bass on that freaking rock right there. Wow. Let's see. He went under the rock. And I know that's, that can't be a bed. Yeah, he was sitting on that rock I saw him earlier. All right, Let's see how this is jumping. Let's see how it's gonna handle it on the new spinning reel. Put it right on top of his face. He went for it. That drag is actually pretty good. All right, that's a nice fish. I don't want to pop the line. I don't want to lose it. Oh, damn it. Let's go, guys. Look at this fish. Let's go. Oh, that's on the new reel. I saw him going on the rock and I put that bait right on top of him. I'm not sure if that's, that's a bait or not, but that's a decent sized fish right there. Look at that. Wow, yeah, on the new spinning reel, guys. Cheapest reel in Amazon. The, the cheapest reel you can buy on Amazon, right here. And they handle that fish like nothing. I had my drag a little low, but once I adjusted it, it was good. Look at that big mouth, guys. Look at that fish. Again, that fish was on the new spinning reel from amazon 14 bucks look at that fish man we're gonna go ahead and let him go because i don't want to keep him out of the water for too long it's good he's good he's good okay he swim off let's go guys so i saw a fish under the rock like i saw him going under the rock and I was wondering if it was still there, so I just put my bait right on top of the rock and let it fall from the rock. As soon as it fell, he got it. He was sitting there with it. So I'm thinking that's a bed. He got his little bed on there. There's a lot of bass on bed right now, so I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. So let's go. First one of the day on the new spinning rail. Oh, that was so satisfying, guys. He throwed that up. So, John Dinger, John Dinger came through.
I didn't want to smack it on the floor, but I didn't want to lose him either. So, put the drum thing in right there. He swam off. Sorry, buddy. I really didn't want to smack you on the floor. <laughs> but I couldn't reach you. I guess I could have reached him. I don't know. But that was not the objective anyways. All right, here we go, John Dinger again. Just a little Texas rig. That's what we're using. And again, we're using the new cheap Amazon spinning reel. I actually like this reel. <laughs> like my drag was kind of loose, but actually it was pretty fun to fight that fish. All right. This little pathway over here, as you can see, you gotta watch out for the thorns. But it's a nice little pathway that probably fishermen made. And people trying to get away from the main trail, but such a pretty nice over here. Jesus Christ. So much wind. Got one. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. You have to be kidding me. Jeez. Okay. The drag gave out, man. The drag gave out on that one. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's all right. I couldn't get a good hook set because my drag wasn't set up right. I thought it was. I don't know if it's getting loose as, as it goes, but I thought I set it up right. Sure felt like it was getting loose. Alright. It's alright. Gonna go ahead and do it again. Do it again. So it's windy, but there you go. That was the second fish. Doesn't count because I didn't touch him, but. It was close, guys. So these fish are getting protected by the wind on that pipe. I think that's what's happening, honestly. But I don't know if the drag fell or what happened, but that was not cool. I mean, it's tough fishing because of the wind. Sure, definitely could hear the wind. Got one. No, I don't. Damn. I've never set the hook on him. All right. Yo, I swear the drag was getting loose. I, I, I couldn't set the hook. I tried to set the hook, I couldn't. And uh, he wasn't hooked. Lost him at the last second here. Um, the hook was exposed. He was kind of hooked. Uh, but we lost at the last second here. That's all right, guys. I don't know, man. See, the drag is tight. I have to go back and look at the video and see if uh, the drag gave out a little bit, but it felt like I had it pinned and lost at the last second here. Like I literally lost it right here. So, keep fishing. That's all we can do, huh? Wow. All right guys, so we caught that one fish when we got here. Uh, and then 
The drag actually worked really good. The reel actually hold up. I liked it. It was kind of loose, but I tied it up and then we had no problem landing that fish. But after that, we lost two fish, guys. We cooked them, but we lost tension. And I don't know if because of the reel drag slip or it's my fault not setting them right. But I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna keep fishing. Hopefully we catch one more. All right, guys, so we ran out of time today. But I think we accomplished what we needed to do, which it was test the reel and see how it works. It was actually pretty smooth and I'm actually impressed that reel is only $14. Uh, we had a couple issues that we lost two fish towards the end and I think the drag actually slipped, but it could have been me, I don't know, I'm a horrible fisherman, but I could have sworn I had the drag set up right. The first fish, it was a decent fish and it handled it really good. I had the drag really low at that time and, and I had to increase the drag uh, tension, but it handled the fish really, really good. So I don't know why it was going on. If it keeps doing that, I will let you guys know. But for now, we're gonna add it to our arsenal. We're gonna be fishing with it. As far as raining goes, I will give this reel around a six. Uh, if your budget is tight, I might consider buying one of these reels. Like I said, I'm gonna be fishing this reel pretty much the whole summer. Uh, so, I chipped it already because I hit it against the concrete by accident and the bottom part chipped and I also dropped it in the water by accident uh, so now it's wet but with that said guys I'll keep you updated if anything happens to it if you enjoyed this video guys please don't forget to hit like share comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about this reel you ever bought one of these reels before uh, let me know your experiences and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.